Weekly News Roundup. I'm Jenna McCarthy. And I'm Molly Breen. In response to last week's sole YouTube commenter, what now? Anyway, we've got a lot of exciting news to bring you this a week. A lot of exciting Don't we, news. Molly? Yes. So, let's get down to it. Um, one exciting thing that happened this week, Andrew Blumenfeld, a member of the class of 2013, is running for a four-year position on the school board in his hometown of La Cañada, California. Andrew is a member of Students for Education Reform here on Princeton's campus, and he's running under a, or running on, I should say, an education reform platform. Yes, he was actually one of the founding members of Esper, which is pretty exciting. Pretty cool. So, good luck, Andrew. Good luck, Andrew. Um, in other news, Josh Miller, one of the, he was a member of 2012, but is taking a, a leave of absence to pursue a startup company, I believe has created a website in response to the freshman rush ban that was released a little while ago. It is very ago. elegantly called stopshirley.com. It seems to be having a lot of success so far though mm. because a couple hundred people have already signed up for the petition on the website. So, yeah, it's causing some See what happens. We'll see what happens. Yeah. All right. Um, this, uh, this week, the new edition, the 2011 to 2012 edition of Rights, Rules, and Responsibilities hit everyone's first mailboxes, and it featured an expanded definition of sexual misconduct. Very exciting. Yeah. So, uh, before there were some notable exceptions regarding, um, sexual harassment and sexually inappropriate behavior, and the definition has been expanded to cover those. Cool. Yeah. Um, as far as faculty and go, there is a new open access policy for scholarly articles, which basically means that you can't just release articles or journals that you've written in to one specific place where they'll limit everyone being able to look at it. So. So everyone can access things written by professors. You don't have to pay. Professors. You don't have to pay. Yay. Hence open access. Hence open access. Very exciting. So exciting news for upperclassmen. The meal exchange site is finally up and running with iPrinceton apps. No the more USG losing those blue slips of paper. And having to pay for your <laughs> meal. <laughs> also, the USG is now sponsoring a monthly Zumba event on the <gasps> first Friday, which Molly and I are very excited about. Listen, if you, if you guys want to come to get to know us in person, come to Zumba on October we love 7th. Zumba. And see Giancarla shake it. Yeah. And see us shake it too, but Giancarla's better at shaking it. She's much better. Much better. Anyway, so that's basically the weekend news. So the stay weekend tuned news. for next week's edition of Weekly News Roundup.